Number 74. Methanol, which is CH3OH, is produced industrially by the following reaction. And then they give us this balanced equation over here. Now they say, assuming that the gases behave as ideal gases, find the ratio of the total volume of the reactants to the final volume. Okie dokie. So first thing is, I see that I have an equation here, so I'm going to rewrite it, right? Um, so we have carbon monoxide, which is CO. It's a gas, but do we really care? No. <laughs> but, I mean, it is a gas chapter, so this should all be gases. So CO plus 2H2. And this is being produced by CH3OH. Okay. So now they're telling us that they're ideal gases, which means that they follow PV equals NRT. All we have to do is basically find the ratio of the total volume of the reactants to the final volume. Okay. Well, we've seen ratios time and time again, right? A ratio is basically just something divided by something else, right? There's something in the top and then divided by something in the bottom. Now, they're just being very specific. They're saying that we need to find the ratio of the total volume of the reactants. And that was said first when they talked about a ratio. So whatever they're talking about first always goes in the numerator. So the volume of the reactants will go on the top, and I'll just put R for the reactants, to the final volume. And the final volume is the volume of the products. So that's basically volume of the products, P's. Okay, now how are we going to get that number? Well, if we're dealing with ideal gases and they're all at the same pressure and the same um, temperature, right? They're behaving as ideal gases. We can basically take the volume and use it just like we would for a mole ratio. So basically we could take volume ratios and use them the same as we would a mole ratio. And remember a mole ratio is the numbers, or we can get them from the coefficients in the front. So for the pro for the reactants, I'll do, uh, yellow. And then for the products, I'll do blue. Okay, well, let's see. What is the total volume of the reactants? Well, just treat it as a, a mole ratio, right? There was no number in front of the CO, so that's a 1. And then we had two H2s. So how many total moles do we have on my reactant side? Yeah, 1 plus 2 is a total of 3. So I can use this 3 as a mole, and I can use it also as a volume. So the three goes on the top. Now let's see. The volume of the products, well, I only have one of these, right? So there just has to be a one on the bottom. And that's it. That's the ratio. Remember, ratios don't have any uh, units. So it's just a three to one ratio. That means that the, uh, the volume of the reactants would be three times more whatever the volume of the products is. So if the volume of the... Um, products is 9, I would just have to take 9 times 3, and then it would be 27 for the reactant side. But this is the answer. It's just a 3 to 1 ratio. Now, you can write a ratio like this, but you could also write it as a number and then a dot, dot, and another number, right? The numerator is always the first number. So I could say 3 is in a ratio with 1. The denominator is always on the right side, and the numerator is always on the left side. But basically, either answer is equivalent. Okay. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys are having a great day. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that, and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.